Today, medical treatment can be compared to playing darts blindfold. Treating a particular disease can harmfully affect the whole body. We can't be sure about the ultimate goal the conventional drugs address. Therefore, we have to use a huge dose of medicine in the hope that at least a small part of it will reach the target. We are not sure if the scientists of yesterday had darts, but they had been pondering this idea over and over. One of them was a German pharmacist, Paul Ehrlich. There should be a golden bullet, a vehicle to deliver a drug to the diseased tissue. We can't poison our patients anymore. This idea may seem daring, but it has been taken over by the scientists of today, and the concept of the golden bullet has been embodied into the approach of targeted drug delivery. The vehicles used in this technology can be different, but the thing they have in common is the ability to detect the lesion and release the drug into the targeted cell. Although scientists are a long way behind in realizing those ambitions, the results they achieved to date are rather promising. The chemists of our university are also working hard to bring this bright future closer. Let's join them and investigate the peculiarities of the process. We are focused, for example, on targeting the cancer cells with drug-loaded liposomes. These are vehicles we use to transport the drug to the targeted area. This method is based on the fact that the cancer cells secrete a special class of compound that can be clearly recognized by the liposomes. The active substance of the drug is placed inside liposomal vesicles. These are water-soluble nanoballs with the vector substances on their surface, which ensure the recognition of the tumor cells. After the drug is injected into a patient's bloodstream, the vesicles drift throughout the organism in search of diseased cells. Having found them, the nanoballs penetrate the cell membrane and release the active substance. This leads to the disruption of the vital parts of the diseased cell and its ultimate death. The advantage of this method is that healthy cells surrounding the tumor remain undamaged. We believe that this technology is a real hope of today and with our help it will become the reality of tomorrow.